In this video I will show you how you can uh, use the Virtual Forms framework to be your front end, so to be able to create, read, update and delete records and to use Access Database as the back end. So, if you have or after you have uh, downloaded the Virtual Forms framework uh, from our web page, you simply need to extract it to let's say your desktop. After that we can go into this extracted folder and we can uh, go into blank, blank templates and we can use the blank template Excel access. You simply select it, the both files and copy paste them for example here on my desktop and also we will need some uh, database to use we will get from this folder data samples northwind tables let's get it okay we don't need this anymore if you want to rename your uh, excel uh, workbook you will also need to rename the other file, uh, the VF file. Let's say my sample app xc and okay, I will copy this and I will also rename this file with the same name but with a uh, different extension. Let's start uh, this workbook. So the easiest way to get started is to use these blank uh, templates. And uh, what we need to do, we can go here and we can go click open main menu. It will uh, pop up one message that says first provide the file name to the access database into this local variable um, that is named here. We can simply go and click on your keyboard the keys control and break. This will allow us to go into the code where we need to provide this file name. We can simply comment this line of code and here we will provide the file name to the access database we want to use. This, de uh, this access database is on our desktop. You can simply go and right mouse click, click properties. Here you can copy the location and put it here into the code. We also need the name of our access database. Copy and also we will put it here but we have to add a backslash and then the name of our access database that is uh, having our tables and this is it. You can simply uh, save it and it is ready to use. We can remove this and let's try to create uh, some uh, virtual forms. Let's click here and let's open the virtual forms designer. Let's see if it will be connected to our database. We can simply go here, we don't have any virtual forms. Let's create one. Let's go here, click on the new form and select the master table. We will select these categories. Select. It is already populated all the other fields that we need for uh, this virtual form to be created. ID field name, this is the primary key for our table. 
as you can see the virtual form uh, designer has already uh, investigate our uh, database and our table and found that the category ID field is a primary key in our table. Okay, we can simply go and save it. Now it asks us if we want to add some columns to the grid control. Let's click yes. All the fields are pre selected. Let's click process. Okay and it now asks us if we want to also add fields to the edit control let's click yes and also process okay and this is it we have our first virtual form created that is using access as a back-end database uh, the internal name of this form is vf2 we can close the virtual form designer and we can uh, go and open our virtual form that is having an uh, internal name VF2. Here you have it. This is our form. We can change some data. Okay, let's change it. And here you can see. This is it for uh, this video.